As technology advances, scientists have become obsessed with making things smaller and smaller. Just 20 years ago, the average computer took up an entire room. Now they can fit in your pocket. Chances are you're even watching this video on a device that sits in your lap or can even be held in your hand. It just goes to show that my girlfriend was right all along. Bigger isn't always better, especially when it comes to these 10 tiny man-made creations. Amazing. Number 10, World's Smallest Bicycle. As our transportation needs evolve and more people strive to reduce their carbon footprint by cycling to work, more and more bike companies have started designing smaller and smaller bikes that can be folded or even put into a backpack and carried into work. Perhaps as a joke at the expense of these microbikes, or even just as a playful experiment, a cycling enthusiast in Russia designed and built this extremely small bicycle. Though the bike measures a merely few inches, its functionality is more impressive. Despite the fact that it's smaller than the shoe of its cyclist, all of its parts work perfectly together to propel the bike forward with every pedal. This takes an astounding amount of balance and flexibility on the part of the operator, but you have to wonder if it's just a little too small. Whilst it's not the most time-effective way to commute to work, riding it is certainly no small feat. Number 9. The Swiss Minigun The doll-sized Swiss Minigun made a huge boom in the media when it first appeared at arms fairs several years ago. At 5.5 centimeters long and 3.5 centimeters tall, it holds the Guinness World Record as the smallest functioning revolver on the planet. It has all the functions of a real gun and fires 2.34 millimeter caliber bullets, which are just a little bit thicker than an uncooked piece of spaghetti. The gun comes with a key ring holster that fits on a belt loop and is often regarded as a harmless trinket or a cute keychain. However, it's actually a fully certified weapon. Is it harmless? <laughs> Hardly. The Swiss minigun is illegal in many countries because the bullets are basically untraceable. Imagine, for example, trying to find a small bead in a shag carpet. For these reasons, the Swiss minigun has been outlawed in many countries, as it would actually make a dangerous and untraceable murder weapon to anyone who could actually manage to use it. I think most hardened criminals would be a little embarrassed to carry around one of these, though. Number 8. The Zanko Tiny T1 Mobile phones came on the scene back in the early 1980s, but those prehistoric behemoths were a far cry from the sleek, handheld devices we know today. One of the first ever cell phones, the Motorola Dynatic 8000X weighed a whopping 1.75 pounds and stood 13 inches. More than 30 years later, the average iPhone is about one-tenth the weight and less than half the size. Today, the world's smallest phone is currently the fun-sized Zanko Tiny T1. At about the size and shape of a domino, it can still execute all of a cell phone's standard features, such as calling, texting, and storing contacts. Though it's still in the development process, it's projected to cost just $50 when released, a pretty small price for an even smaller phone. Whilst people are quick to call the Tiny T1 cute, its cheap price and diminutive proportions make it a good choice for prisoners, spies, and criminals as it's so easy to smuggle. Number 7. Vehicles When you think of vehicles, you think of rather large machines powerful enough to take us long distances. But you may be surprised to hear that the smallest aircraft and cars aren't much larger than an average human. In fact, the world's smallest aircraft is only 8 foot 10 inches, or 2.69 meters long. Called the Bumblebee 2, it has a wingspan of 5 feet and 6 inches, which is 1.68 meters. When empty, it can accommodate one person and weighs just under 180 kilograms. The smallest roadworthy car, on the other hand, looks just like a kid's ride-on toy. Created by Austin Colson from America, it had to be registered and inspected to qualify as a roadworthy vehicle. Austin needed to install a number of required safety features, including federally approved safety glass for the windshield, functioning windshield wipers, Department of Transportation approved signal lights, a seatbelt, and working horn. Number 6. Insect Size RoboBee Drone These days, there's a real buzz around drone technology. With Amazon testing delivery drones and the military waging war with unmanned aerial vehicles, the sky seems to be the limit for these new flying automatons. Inspired by the biology of a housefly, the RoboBee first took off in 2007. At about the size of a penny, 
the Robo-Bee is virtually undetectable while in action and can dive into water, swim, and even propel itself back out again. While Harvard developers are saying it's intended to be used in search and rescue missions, we all know that the big money lies in its military applications, whether that's spying or as part of a high-tech special forces toolkit. The US Army has been operating near-silent Predator drones through the night skies of Pakistan and Afghanistan for years, but it looks like the dangers of drone technology might be coming closer to home. A bill passed in 2012 now permits the use of police drones in US airspace, a little-known measure that poses the risk of endless violations of privacy. Gatwick Airport in the UK was closed for days after a renegade drone was repeatedly seen above the runway. And whilst the Robobee is still in development stages, scientists have admitted that the end goal is to create a fully autonomous swarm of flying robots. Sound familiar? It's almost identical to the fictional technology described in the Black Mirror episode entitled Hated in the Nation, in which drone bees swarm together on extended killing sprees. So whilst drones are getting smaller and smaller, the same cannot be said for their increasingly frightening capabilities. Number 5. Art in a Needle's Eye An often quoted Bible verse says, It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. But Russian artist Nikolai Aldenin has fit not just one camel, but seven, as well as three palm trees, into a needle's eye. The miraculous work is just one of his many microscopic masterpieces. Nikolai, who must work by the beat of his own heart in order to keep his hands perfectly still, is known for his minuscule sculptures that rest easily on tiny objects. To craft his masterpieces, he trades traditional artist tools for syringes, toothpicks, and tiny droplets of superglue. This artisan has even managed to put horseshoes in a saddle on a flea and carve a T-34 tank the size of an apple seed out of pure gold. With artworks this small, though, he has to be careful not to lose them. And once wasted two weeks of work when he misplaced a sculpture of an AK-47, a very intricate sculpture made of 34 different parts and that sat comfortably on a match head. Unfortunately for all you art lovers, those wishing to properly view his pieces in all their glory will need to enlist the help of a microscope. Number 4. Microscopic Mini Novel If you like a bit of light reading, you'll love Teeny Ted from Turnip Town. At 30 pages long, this microscopic book can fit onto a human hair and is in the Guinness Book of Records as the smallest book in existence as it measures only 70 by 100 micrometers or about the same size as a particle of dust, printing it was no small task. Using crystalline silicone, its creators Malcolm and Robert Chaplin from Canada needed to borrow their university's ion beam electron microscope in order to produce the novel. In all, the book cost a whopping $15,000 just to print. But if you're interested in reading the story to find out what exactly happens to Teeny Ted, you'll need a little help. In fact, nothing except the most high-powered scientific microscopes can provide the magnification you need to read it. As far as I know, though, it's a short story for kids about a talking turnip, which is a pretty unusual thing to be at the forefront of scientific innovation. Number 3. The Mini Lisa Sure, everyone knows the Mona Lisa, but have you heard of the Mini Lisa? Her microscopic clone? Created by a team of scientists at the Georgia Institute of Technology, the Mini Lisa is only 30 microns across, less than half the thickness of a human hair. Created using thermochemical nanolithography, its creation was part of an effort to explore the limits and applications of a new wonder material called graphene. Future hopes for graphene extend far beyond the microscopic recreations of classical paintings. Because graphene is only one atom thick and somehow 100 times stronger than steel, it's a potential game changer in the world of technology. If you think it sounds a little like something from a superhero movie, you're not too far off. Discovered just a decade ago, graphene is claimed to be the strongest material in the world and has the potential to make fictional inventions like Tony Stark's armor a reality in the not-so-distant future. Potential uses include the ability to charge a phone in a mere 5 seconds, lightning-fast internet, unbreakable screens, and many other potential uses that would make anyone smile with excitement, even Mona Lisa herself. Number 2. The Nano Guitar Feel like playing a little tune? Huh? Huh? 
Manufactured by researchers at Cornell University in an effort to experiment with how small mechanical devices can be made, the nano guitar is the world's tiniest instrument, smaller than even a single cell. The nano guitar measures a mere 10 micrometers. In comparison, the smallest string on a standard guitar has a diameter of 0.254 millimeters, which is well over 20 times the size of the nano guitar's entire body. Though it might be a little difficult to play, it's perfect for renditions of Tiny Dancer or Disney's timeless classic, It's a Small World. Number 1. World's Smallest Snowman The world's smallest snowman was created accidentally by researcher Todd Simpson at Western University's nanofabrication facility in an effort to isolate silica spheres. Though unfortunately, it's not technically a snowman since it's made out of silica spheres and not snow. In fact, the average snowflake is a whopping 593 times larger than this snowman's entire body. After finding the perfect triple combination of the spheres, Simpson grew out the snowman's nose and arms with an ion beam depositing platinum on it, and its eyes and mouth were carved with the beam as well. His body, in its entirety, is only half the size of the feces produced by dust mites, a tiny pest which is invisible to the naked eye. Standing at a minuscule 3 micrometers, you could fit 25,000 of these little guys across the width of a human hair. Needless to say, they probably never found a carrot small enough to serve as this Jack Frost's nose. As nanotechnology moves forward at breakneck speed, it makes us wonder what the world's next big microscopic innovation will be. But will size always matter? And are there better nano objects to be investing in than art you can't even see? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.